In this GIMP Beginner's Guide, I'll show you how to create a ghost using this man here, and I'll put it on the wall behind him, and then put it onto another photo. So I'll delete those layers and start again. So first I open the photo. Then I right click on it in the Layers panel and come down and left click on Add Alpha Channel. Now I'll make a copy of it by clicking on the Create a Duplicate of the Layer button which is at the bottom of the Layers panel. Next I'm going to delete the background from that layer so I click on the Free Select tool in the toolbox and come down and click on Feather Edges and I'll leave the radius at 10 and now I'll very quickly click around him. Now I'm not going to use his lower legs, so I'll simply zigzag across the bottom here and then re-click on my first click point to complete my selection and start the marching ants. And now I click on select in the menu bar and come down and click on invert so that the background is selected, not the man. And then I press delete on my keyboard to remove the background on that layer. Then I deselect him by clicking on Select and None. And now I'll move that layer over. So I click on the Move tool in the toolbox and I put my cursor on him, hold down my left mouse button and I drag him across and up. And I'll rotate him a little. So I click on the Rotate tool in the toolbox. Then I click on him to select him. And I'll just drag him around a little. And then click on Rotate in the dialog box to confirm the rotation. Next, I click on Colors in the menu bar and come down and click on Desaturate. And I'm going to click on Luminosity and then click OK. Then I click on Colors in the menu bar again and come down and click on Invert. And now I'll smudge him out a little. So I click on the Smudge tool in the toolbox and I'll change the brush size to 40 now to use the smudge tool I simply place my cursor where I want to start smudging hold down the left mouse button and drag my cursor where I want it to smudge And now to make him a little bit see-through, I go to the Layers panel and decrease the opacity of that layer to about 50. And there he is. Now when I move the layer, you'll notice that a perforated line appeared on my screen. This is simply the Layer Boundary Guide and it only shows in the project it does not appear on any photos that you export. However, if you find it really distracting, you can click on View in the menu bar and come down and click on Show Layer Boundary to untick it. 
and that will hide the layer boundary guides. Now because this ghost is on his own separate layer, it's really easy to put him onto another photo. Simply click on File in the menu bar, then click on Open as Layers, and then open the photo you want. Now as you can see, my new photo has opened on top of the ghost layer. So all I do is go to the bottom of the layers panel and click on the lower this layer one step button to put it underneath the ghost layer so that I can see the ghost on it. Now I hope this has given you some ideas of how to make simple ghost images but if you've got any problems or suggestions, please leave a comment.